ACS Blog is here with Terry Alminis, Director of Census and Voting Programs at the Asian American Justice Center. Ms. Minnis, can you tell us a little bit about the Voting Rights Act's role in ensuring access to the ballot for Asian Americans, particularly in this coming year? Sure. So for Asian Americans, one of the largest hurdles that voters face is the language barrier, right, where um, there may be some limited English proficiency issues, and as we know, ballots are not always written in the most... Uh, simplistic manner possible, so even native English speakers have difficulties. Um, the Voting Rights Act has provided language assistance um, through its Section 203 uh, provision, and that has proven to be very helpful for the Asian American community. Where it's been properly implemented, we've seen increased voter participation, and it's really done a lot to help break down these language barriers for the Asian Americans. Hmm, interesting. And what is your organization doing this coming year in particular to work on this issue? Sure, so Section 203 of the Voting Rights Act requires, as I mentioned, sex, uh, language assistance for voters, but for the covered languages in covered jurisdictions. But that really means that the um, assistance has to occur throughout the voting process, so that's both pre-election day as well as on election day, and it includes things like written materials, translated written materials, as well as oral assistance at the polls, and publicity of the, um, of the availability of language assistance to the covered language groups. And for us, we will be working with local uh, organizations to try to um, provide guidance and assistance on helping them to advocate with their local election officials in implementing, particularly in jurisdictions that are newly covered. Um, the Census Bureau just recently released the newest set of determinations on Section 203 this past October, and for the Asian American community, we now have 22 um, counties, cities, census areas, or boroughs that are covered for at least one Asian language. Um, we also have eight Asian languages that are covered for um, it, throughout these you know, um, areas, and three of those are actually new from the last determination. So for us, it's important for the local organizations and leaders to be able to advocate with their election officials so that they understand what they need to do to comply with Section 203. Um, so at AAJC, along with our um, partners, the other members of the Asian American Center for Advancing Justice, we will be providing um, community edu education materials, such as in-language um, fact sheets uh, geared towards end users, as well as handbooks for the, um, the local leaders to help provide um, tips on advocating uh, with their election officials. And um, for the election itself, we were providing a poll monitoring effort through our local uh, organizations and the members of the Asian American uh, Center for Advancing Justice to uh, monitor for compliance with Section 203. Um, and anyone who wants more information about it can visit our website at www.advancingequality.org backslash section hyphen 203. Great, thank you.